And when it comes to that issue, the number of tests being done, a major change tonight in the Centers for Disease Control guidelines on coronavirus testing. The agency reversing policy now saying that people who are asymptomatic don't need to be tested. News Channel 3's Tom Tucker reports on that change and the reaction from Governor Newsom here in California and Riverside County's public health officer. California Governor Gavin Newsom reacting Wednesday to the CDC's change in guidance. After saying for weeks that asymptomatic people should be tested for coronavirus, the CDC now saying testing is not necessary for people who don't show symptoms. I don't agree with the new CDC guidance, period, full stop, and it's not the policy in the state of California. Not only will the state not follow the CDC guidance, there will actually be expanded testing in California, with the governor's office announcing a new partnership with a diagnostics company to provide up to 150,000 more tests each day in the state, with results provided in 24 to 48 hours, the program beginning November 1st. We will not be influenced by that change. Uh, we're influenced uh, by uh, those that uh, are experts in the field that feel very differently. Regarding the CDC policy change, a spokesperson for the Department of Health and Human Services said in a written statement the guidelines are being updated to ensure testing is, quote, used appropriately and to emphasize testing for post-clinical patients and testing for public health reasons. According to the new guidance from the CDC, you don't necessarily need a coronavirus test unless you're considered a vulnerable person or unless your doctor tells you to take one. People we spoke with expressing mixed opinions on the change. I just disagree with it because if you don't test, how do you know that it's out there? It's, it, to me, it really is a political thing. We should just follow the guidelines of the CDC and shift the attention to the individuals who are showing um, symptoms. Riverside County Health Officer Dr. Cameron Kaiser was not available to comment on camera, but issued a written statement in response to the change in guidance, saying the county's approach to coronavirus testing won't change, writing in part, quote, as people get tested, we better understand where active infections are in the community and can then work to contain the disease through contact tracing, quarantine, and isolation. Tom Tucker, News Channel 3. And you can read the entire written statement from Riverside County's public health officer on this by checking out this story online right now at KESQ.com.